Hey everyone, this is Matthew Rhodes and I'm joined by uh, the new signing for Matlock Town. I'm joined by Matlock's Jonathan Wafula. Jonathan, how are you today? No, I'm good, thanks Matt. How are you? Yeah, very good. We're almost there at the start of pre-season, so uh, just raring to get going and watching. Uh, finally watching some football rather than just watching it on the TV. Can't wait. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so uh, you've uh, recently... Uh, made the switch uh, from uh, Geisley to Matlock Town. Uh, you have played for Matlock before, albeit for a, a very brief stint, but uh, that was uh, going back uh, a few years ago. Um, just firstly, just um, when did sort of Paul Phillips or, or Dave Wilde, uh, the assistant manager, when did they first get in touch with you and uh, how, how did they sell the club to you for you to move over to the Gladiators? Um, it was. It wasn't that... It wasn't something that happened a while back. It was only recent. Um, I think because I kind of decided that I wanted to be um, somewhere where, you know, we're going to be really competitive, win a lot of games, etc. And then um, Quartz spoke to me, one of the players, when Quartz spoke to me, um, he was just asking what my situation was for next year. I just said, I haven't really made a decision yet. Just trying to figure out what's the best fit really to be um, in a competitive place and then yeah Phil I spoke to him the next day and then pretty much day after that it was all worked out and good to go yeah so it was the quickest quickest I've ever done to be honest so there wasn't yeah. really much you know I was more than happy with everything he has to say like you said I've been there before I'm happy with everyone that's at the club um, like I said I'm just like you I'm itching to get going and just Get playing football again, enjoying it. So, yeah. cool. And, <laughs> and uh, just for any Matlock fans uh, that haven't seen you before on the pitch, and uh, or uh, may have heard of your name but have never, have, uh, never actually uh, seen you play, uh, what kind of player are you, and what what sort of attributes uh, do you uh, will you bring to the team onto the pitch? Um, I'd say mainly bring a lot, a lot of energy. Um, into the game so I have to be able to keep the team going and my main aim obviously for last year was to get more goals obviously um, unfortunately I was only able to get four last year which in nine games wasn't really that great but I'm um, aiming to bring more this year um, I think I can bring more pace into the team this year um, allow us to be more direct and um, just I think from what I've seen from the team last year, because we did play them against Geisley um, in the FA Cup last yeah. year, and we've got strong cores. Unfortunately, they went obviously 10 men down and that opened the game up massively, but they've already got a strong core already. Um, you can already tell their presence when you play against them, which is already in your mind, it's uh, quite overwhelming, but I think I can add to that as well in terms of my presence up there and um, what I can bring in terms of, um, like I said, my energy and just be able to um, help the team kick on and, and be up there in the league. And that's that's the aim. And Phil, when I was speaking to him, you know, we're not just trying to put a team together just to compete. The aim is to be up there and, you know, not just be kind of floating around the playoffs. The aim is to get promoted. And if we can do that just automatically, that is that's what's going to be. Um, and I think we've got enough squad that, believe we can do that as well so hopefully I can yeah my attributes will be able to grow into that and we can reach our goals and get up there and obviously it's been um, <laughs> well uh, an understatement and a half but obviously it's been a very strange uh, 18 months and um, it, well very strange obviously if you're uh, sort of like a footballer at this level because Obviously, even the Premier League had to have a bit of a break, but it still eventually came back after about a couple of months. But obviously, for players at this level, at around step three of non-league football, you've barely played uh, in the past 18 months. Uh, I think last season lasted about eight or nine league games before it all had to stop. Um, what What's it sort of been like for yourself, just in terms of your football career, and how frustrating has it been to sort of have these past 18 months, you know, sort of paused in your career. You've not been able to progress because because of the situation. There's nothing you can do about it. Just how frustrating has it been, but how 
does it make you sort of even more motivated to make the most of the return when you do finally come back? Yeah, it's it's been crazy, absolutely crazy. Even like you're saying last year, even though you know our league was supposed to be you know carrying on, um, we only played nine games and everything was stop start either because you know because we don't train every day being part time. A lot of players are starting to get you know the, the stop start, you're getting a lot of injuries, and then you were seeing like for ourselves, obviously our aim wasn't to be down there, guys. The um, we had a lot of injuries, weren't able to play at the level that we should have, etc. And at the same time, it's um, because you never, you don't know what's coming next. You've got to keep that personal motivation to keep yourself fit throughout the summer. And it's difficult to know, you know, when, where you want to be next year as well. A lot of teams, be, do you want to be with this team, that team, but you haven't seen any, any team play, so you don't know. It's like, are they going to be a good fit? Are they not going to be a good fit? Yeah. So it's, it's been tough in terms of the main thing, just staying focused, keeping you keeping yourself motivated for next year. And like you're saying, you know, you've lost a year. That's the big thing. Um, you're not, we're not getting any younger. Like you said, I was only a couple of years when I was a Matlock to me. I was young then and now, now I'm 27. And even though I'm not old, but I feel like I've lost a year where I could have progressed yeah. and got better as a player, got fitter, got sharper. But, um, you know, but I'm just grateful I've got an opportunity to kick on football back and, we can have a look forward now and just try and make the best of it, really. Yeah, obviously within um, the past uh, month and a little bit longer than that, obviously more uh, restrictions have been lifted in that time. So you've actually been able to train properly rather than just be at home in a, in a lockdown uh, status. So um, you'll have trained now with uh, with your new team. What's sort of like the training been like? Is it is it intense under Philo and Wildy? I know they're... Uh, they're uh, very demanding. They always want hundred percent from absolutely everyone at all times. What's uh, what's sort of like the training been like, and what's what's the mood like in the camp? I haven't, yeah, I haven't partaken yet. I've seen. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> yeah, I've seen, definitely seen them training because we trained. Um, we make guys do train in the same same place, same base. Right. Trip. But um, yeah, I definitely know about the training and um, high intensity, um, nice and loud, big group. Um, everyone wants to be together and wants to everyone's there to train and get better so that's one of the main things I'm looking forward to um, improving the play and just taking in what they can give for me and hopefully I can give a lot back to the club and to them and showing that faith in me and then we can try and push on but I think mainly for me just off season just trying to do more um, sort of fitness stuff to keep my durability going forward and my, my aim is just not to be well my aim is to be available all year and have plenty of time because I think sometimes people think when you've had a break it's a good thing but sometimes when you've gone from sort to nothing to the high intensity of pre-season then you've got you know I don't you've obviously seen the schedule for pre-season we've got games Tuesday Thursday Tuesday it can be a lot and the body yeah. bit of a shot so my main aim is to try and just strengthen and make sure I'm durable for the whole season, really. And yeah, just um, tell us uh, for anyone that's uh, not not too familiar with yourself, maybe they've uh, seen your name pop up before on uh, like non league scores, but they've never uh, seen you play. Uh, you're from um, Kenya, and uh, when when did you actually move over uh, to England? So I understand um, when you did move over, you actually uh, settled in Matlock for a time. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, I moved over in 2004, February. I remember it snowing here. Uh, <laughs> crazy. Um, we moved to Dal Dalladale. Yeah, that's where we moved to. Stayed there for around a year or two. Um, so went to primary school there for a little bit. Was supposed to go to school at Lady Manor. So I don't know if you know, it's in Bakewell. And then yeah. ended up moving this way around the Alfredton area and went to Tiffshaw School. Um, but I did... Around my juniors, I was there. I played potentially juniors for a long time while I was living down there. So that was enjoyable for me. Stayed playing for them until, well, in secondary school as well. Played potentially juniors throughout my secondary school. Yeah. Um, I remember playing, played against Matlock, actually, in Matlock. Uh, a lot of a Cavendish. Um, played them in a final as well at, at Belpa, I remember. Yeah. So it's a lot. Yeah, a lot of memories for me down there. So 
definitely, definitely good times. Yeah. Great stuff. And uh, just finally, just in terms of the season uh, coming up, then obviously, uh, well, I said this at the, around the same point last season, I thought it would be so competitive because uh, you got quite a lot of big teams now in there and now you've got like South Shields who I think are now a fully professional team, uh, which is pretty rare considering uh, this is the third tier of non-league. But you've also got teams like United of Manchester, uh, Buxton, Baseford United. So it should be a tough league. Uh, what what sort of like your expectations uh, for the team as a whole? But have you also got some personal goals for yourself uh, that you're wanting to meet for this season? Um... I think, like you said, there's a lot of teams in there. So it is going to be a tough league, but um, I think we've got a group that doesn't really feel that kind of pressure. Um, I think we go into every game just knowing our expectation and what the manager's expecting from us going forward. Um, and that's, you know, to come away with every game with points. We don't want to be coming out of, even if we have a bad game, we at least get, get a draw out of that. Um, that's for me personally, my main aim, I just, I hate losing. I can't, I can't stand it. it. It just ruins that weekend, that week. Um, I'm, I'm well, a you, you've got that in common with Philo and Wilder. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I think, you know, it, it might come off as a bit mardy sometimes, etc. but I just, I just can't start, I can't start, I cannot stand losing at all. At all. So for, for me, um, personally, just try and contribute the best that I can. Um, goals are going to be big for me this year. Um, I aim to try and get 15 um, as a minimum. Um, but main aim is just to contribute as much as I can, stay durable this year, um, play as many games as I can and win as many games as I can, really. But I think for us, um, our main aim, obviously, like you said, South Shield's going to be full-time. It's I found out even, you know, playing for guys here last year when you're competing against Full time teams, it's it's difficult when you you know we've got players travelling from all over the place, fatigued, all come from work, etc. Um, but I think at the same time, it's 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 a bit of a boost, a bit of a challenge because you think, well, I think we're capable of competing with them. Can we compete with them? It's a bit of a challenge just to see. Okay, are we as good as them, even though they train every day. But then again, it's just having that. That personal time, that personal goals, but I think um, Philo and the rest of the team at Malik are giving us the tools that we need to be, you know, on par with them, making sure we're putting the time in early, getting the right fitness, getting the, you know, we need anything else that we need to help us with nutrition stuff, um, you know, we've got the physio, et cetera, anything, any support that you need to do that, we've got that, so I don't see a reason why we can't compete because to me it's just comes down to just hard work really and yeah we've got to do that okay good stuff uh yeah thanks for your time jonathan because uh i know you'll be uh, a busy man and it's only going to get busier now that the season's finally about to get going soon and i'm sure the That's fixture good. list will get released uh soon as well so uh, we'll find out uh, whenever everyone's playing who uh but yeah thanks for your time jonathan and uh, we'll see you soon on the pitch you too much appreciate it.